Hi there, I'm J.W. Rinsler, and I'm here today at Skywalker Ranch in the archives with Harrison Ellenshaw, who was the supervising matte painter on Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back. Harrison's going to tell us some stories about some of the most iconic matte paintings, perhaps for any film ever. This was a revolutionary idea. Visual effects hadn't been used in movies for three decades. And you were a department of one. Correct I me was if I'm a department wrong. of one. Ralph McQuarrie did the planets, so I didn't have to do the planets. I That's just right. had to do the map paintings that combined live action. That is the sets and the actors with set extensions and added elements. Well, let's take a look at one of the most iconic shots in Star Wars, the outside of the Rebel hangar on Yavin 4. Ralph McQuarrie had done a wonderful production illustration of what this needed to look like. So I was able to take a look at that as a piece of reference. Now, the clear area you see in this large piece of glass is where the actors would be and some of the action would take place. But because of cost and practicality, they chose not to build a set that looked like this. What I loved so much about the exterior of Cloud City was the subtlety of the sky, of the lighting. Elegance is what it's all about. Very few people can pull that off, even today with CGI. So what are we looking at here? Here is a, just a wonderful example of all these stormtroopers, and nobody knows that it's a map painting. You just assume that this is a very large set. So there are some real stormtroopers on the set, and then the rest were added by the matte artist where you can really utilize his tremendous talent. And this is a great example, because this is such a climactic part of the film. This has no live action added to it. You cut to a closer shot, also done by Ralph. And the, the fight between Luke and Darth Vader takes place out here. So eventually, we come to the real exciting point. I am your father. No! This one is uh, well known here in the archives because it is so small. This was a glass that was intended to be reused. For some odd reason, I noticed that there was this little spot on it. And I'm ready to, you know, scrape it off with my fingernail. <laughs> and then I, I realized it was actually the first map painting that appears in a new hope. Wait, what's that? It's a sand crawler at the top of a sand dune uh, in the distance. And the reason this is so small is it's so far away. I'm saved. Over here! Hey! Hey! Doing matte painting is so exciting because you have to understand so many things. Perspective, mm -hmm. composition, painting itself, understanding photography, and if you can accomplish it well, there's a great deal of satisfaction. I just want to thank you for sharing your memories of that period with us. Well, it's been my pleasure. I'm happy that something so small can be a part of something so big.